hygiene that we learned do wrong. How often we supposed to change our toothbrush? Our toothbrush is a home for more than 10 million bacteria, including E. coli, that can cause everybody to all of us a diarrhea and vomiting. So it is really important to change our toothbrush like three, uh, three months every three months. One of the reasons that we should throw our toothbrush every three months is that the bristle lose the cleaning ability. It may fall out of chain shape. Once the bristle becomes splayed, they won't maintain the performance and freight bristles don't reach the spots between our teeth and along the gum line effectively. Lufa. You may also love to use the lofa every time you take a bath. By their nature, lofa sponges have lots of nooks and crannies, and they are very porous. When people use a lofa to scrub off dead skin cells, those cells become lodged in the nooks and crannies. Lofa are interesting and everybody loves to use it. But then, Lufas can contain fungal organisms that lead to our skin infections. So after we use, it is very important to dry it daily or like rinse it properly. Change like three to four weeks. Washing our hands is the best way to stop germs from spreading. Think about all of the things that we've been touching like every day. From the phone, from our phones, from the food we eat, and even like tables and stuff that we keep touching it every day. Maybe you blew your nose in a tissue that went outside or to dig like around the dirt. Whatever you did today, you came into the contact of the germs. It is easy for us, or like a germ on our hand, to end up in your mouth or in our mouth. So we have to wash our hands like we're after we touch those dirties to stop. So when are the best time to wash our hands? When our hands are dirty, before eating or touching food, after using the bathroom, after blowing your nose or like if we are coughing, after touching other's pets or like our pets, after we've been outside for like groceries, touching some fruits and the malls, and before and after visiting a sick relative or even a friends or our family members. Exfoliating your body in the shower is a great way to remove dead skins, cells and dirt. But if we do it way too often, it can dry out our skin too. If our shower curtain is too long and wide for our top, it'll keep bulking and folding in different places. So those places become like damp, like humid, 
and you can find after it showers and that's a perfect environment for mold to grow how often do you clean your shower it's probably not as often as we clean our toilet but probably still take time to clean it like at least a month hey Washing your face with freezing cold water can lead to broken blood vessels and causing little thread veins to appear. So the best option is to use lukewarm water and do it over the sink. So it's better to like gently pat your skin or skin with a towel post shower and if we are going to use it like moisturizer or like uh, we can put it right away after we stepped out of the shower. Flushing the toilet, we it is very important to know uh, how to flush the toilet properly. If we flush the toilet while the lid is out, then tiny particles from uh, up, like whatever you just left in the toilet, will spray up in the air like over 15 foot radius. So the right way how to flush it, we have to close the lid and then flushed toilet brush we normally use this like every time we clean our toilet bowl but then some of us like we don't know we just kind of like put it to uh, not cleaning it putting away like not cleaning it but the very best and the most important thing is we soak it first for like the bleach or we can rinse it properly before putting it away and even the holder it needs to be disinfected too Sleepers or using the sleepers like not only outside but inside our house We as Filipinos like normally we use the sleeper inside the house and Many people like strongly believe that the dirtiest place in the bathroom is the toilet seat But in reality the floor has much more bacteria especially if like we don't follow the lid closing tip properly medicine cabinet no matter if we are talking about a half bath or like bathroom in a master suit or like a lot of questions about the bathroom storage about to come up like in a bathroom design from everyday certain items that we have to put it like toothbrush the toothpaste or the daily medications 
so you don't want to keep everything on your counters or like on a bathroom that will feel cluttered so you need a way to keep it items out of sight but still have it easily accessible that's where a medicine cabinet and other storage option come into play do your ears feel blocked up too and do you know that using the cotton swabs is not a safe way to remove the wax cotton swabs may push wax deeper into the ear canal use cotton swabs only on the outside of the ear or better yet try wiping the area with a warm and damp cloth the vacuum filters that are clogged may severely impact on a vacuum cleaner's performance so we recommended i recommend you guys like checking and cleaning your filter when like emptying the dustbin or it's also important to replace your filter like every six months or nine months depending on your cleaning frequency so you have to wash cutting our nails too short so when people cut their nails too short the skin on the sides can cover the corners of the nail it may causes the nail to grow back into the skin nails that are like wrapped or like instead of cut or cut into rounded shape they also tend to become like ingrown they call it ingrown so because they don't have clear corners